。请我们今天要讲什么故事？ Olivia， 它是什么动物啊？你看它有什么？猪。它是一头猪。那为什么它怎么变成一头牛了？<笑>为什么我？我不知道。你不知道？那我们来看一下为什么吧。今天要讲的就是 Olivia X out， 它要表演喽。不要。I have some exciting news, announced Olivia's teacher, Mrs. Hagen Mueller. Our class play this year will be the Fairy Queen. And I will play the fairy queen," Olivia whispered to her friend Julian. Mrs. Hagen Mueller continued, "The fairy queen will be played by Francine." Oh, I bet I get the second biggest part," whispered Olivia. "I hope I get to work the curtains," Julian whispered back. "That way, no one will see me." And the littlest fairy will be played by Alexandra. The teacher continued. Giving out parts took a long time. Finally, there were only two rows left to assign, and only two students waiting to find out their roles: Olivia and Julian. Julian was chosen to be tree number three. He had no speaking lines at all. Awesome! He shouted. And Olivia, Mrs. Hagen Mueller finished. You are cow number two. 哦、oh, ，原来是这么回事。他要演一头牛，所以他穿了牛的衣服。At home, Olivia complained to her family, "My part doesn't even have a name." Of course it does," said her mother. "You are cow number two. Now tell us what you say." Moo!、Mm, Olivia answered. And her mother said encouragingly. That's it," Olivia replied in a grumpy voice. "Only moo." Well," said her father. "Just remember, it's not what you say; it's how you say it." So, acting is you have to have different use of different feelings to express this. To say the phrase, right? So, Olivia practiced Olivia practiced saying it all different ways. She mooed high. Moo. And moo low, moo. She mooed loud, moo. And moo soft, moo. 各种不同的牛叫。你的好大声哦。At school the next day, the class practiced the show. It was a disaster. Howard kept facing the wrong direction. Julian was allergic to his tree costume. He sneezed loudly every time Francine tried to recite her lines. I can't work under these conditions, Francine moaned. I can, Olivia volunteered. 哪一个？你说这个背对大家的吗？还是说树？这个就是 Julian 啊。没有，我说那个穿着那个猪的衣服。这一只，这个吗？这只吗？这个我不知道，他没有讲哎、欸，他没有说是谁啊。那这个就是 Olivia， 还绑了蝴蝶结、啊，然后这是 f r i e n d i n g 其他的他没有交代哦。Mrs. Hagen Mueller clapped her hands. Class, let's take it from the top. Hmm? From the top of what? Asked f r i e n d i n g puzzled. Mrs. Hagen Mueller sighed. <sighs> That means start at the beginning. So Francine repeated her line to cow number two, and Julian managed not to sneeze. But cow number two wasn't paying attention. Olivia imagined the night of the play. Francine is on stage, looking out at the beautifully dressed audience. She opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. Not even a tiny squeak. Oh, oh, she lost her voice. She lost. Oh no! Wells, Mrs. Hagen Mueller, Francine has stage fright. The play will be ruined. Don't worry, Olivia reassures her. I know every line and every gesture. She takes center stage. A star is born. And then Olivia remembered she was on stage as cow number two. Francine was saying, "For all your good deeds, little fairy." Moo! Interrupted Olivia. Francine tried again. 
little fairy, you have earned this fairy wing. Moo! Olivia said louder. Moo! Olivia, Mrs. Hagemuller said sternly. There's not a single moon in the squib here. But Mrs. Hagemuller, Olivia protested. I think the cow should be happy for the little fairy. She would definitely moo. She would top dance too, like this. 她居然跳起舞来了。Back at home, Olivia asked Ian to practice lines with her, but he just laughed. Ah,、oh, you say is moo? Oh, you say is moo? How much practice do you need? It's not what you say, Ian. It's how you say it. Olivia tried to imagine herself in the spotlight, stealing the show as cow number two. Hmm, she said. What have cows ever done that's interesting? Well, Julian replied, "There's that one cow that jumped over the moon. You know, hey, Dido, Dido, the cat and the fiddle. That's it!" exclaimed Olivia. "If you are stuck being a cow, it's good to have a moon to jump over." The big night finally arrived. Everyone was in place on stage, and the curtain went up. I am prancing began, then froze. It was just like Olivia's dream. Oh oh, Olivia thought. Prancing needs help. Olivia whispered to her, "I'm the queen of the fairies." Those words were just enough to get prancing started. I'm the queen of the fairies. She said grandly, and the show began. Before long, the play was ending. Olivia's big moment was coming. You horse, will you be merry? And you tree, will you be merry? And you cow, will you be merry? Francine asked. Moo! Answered Olivia. She leaped up, 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 up over the moon, then down, 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 and side to side. 哇，真的飞起来耶！<笑>太好笑了。Until she landed back on the stage, she grabbed Francine's hand and exclaimed, "The end!" The cast bow and the audience applaud applauded widely. Back at home. Mother peeked into Olivia's room, ready to tuck her in, but Olivia was already sound asleep, mooing under her breath as she dreamed of jumping off the moon. So Mother just pulled her up the covers and whispered, "Good night, Olivia." She did a very stiff neck motion, although her character only has one sentence, one word, which is "moo." But she is trying very hard to perform. 尽尽心尽力，这就是一个表演者该做的。The end。